road to break nights. Hello people, what is Crack Crack and Inspirationary back with the final oh. episode of the Road to Greatness series. It's going to be my thoughts on the whole process of the Road to Greatness series, like how Bristol Dojo are and how the whole event feels and all that sort of stuff. As well as kind of breaking down my person, how I think my personal journey went and if I think people should give it a go. Overall, I'm happy. Let's start with my journey. So I started obviously getting into martial arts about a year and a half ago, really, because this event I've been just done was meant to happen like the last April. Um, in actual respect, I'm kind of going, kind of glad I got pushed back. Not saying I couldn't have got the win last April, but obviously I've had a whole year to kind of develop my skills, develop my kickboxing, develop my jiu-jitsu, and put it all together and really come up with a game plan because that's essentially what happened. I've made myself an all-round fighter now so it wasn't just the jiu-jitsu that made me win, it wasn't just the striking that made me win or the grappling, it was a combination of both things because I had a whole year to work on my game plan, to work on my double leg, take down, double leg takedowns which is what I mainly used on my cage fight. I had a year and a half to work on my jiu-jitsu and really like get good on the ground and confident on the ground because that's one of the biggest things I wasn't confident or com uh, confident or comfortable on the ground standing up yeah because kickboxing I've done a long time and I know I can take a hit and I can give a hit there's been like I said many occasions where I've uh, been inspiring my like my coach was half more and he's hit me in four or five start four or five shots and I ain't budged I just stood there and took it so the striking was never really something I was worried about there's Jiu Jitsu, so I'm glad I kind of got to work on that. Um, it took a lot of sacrifice, not gonna lie, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of missing out on good times. Um, was I perfect during this journey? No, I'm not gonna lie. There was days when I had energy drinks when I wasn't meant to. There was days when I, um, Bank Holiday Monday, I went out with my mates and went prison. wasn't planned, but I did 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 end up in prison. But even then, I didn't go overboard. And drink and get actually wrecked. I still made sure I was, you know, got a little tipsy and that was about it. Still made my PT in the day after as well. So now I haven't been perfect. But what I'm trying to show from this is you don't need to be perfect. And once you put the dedication, the hard work in, which I know I did, and people have even said to me, like that loads of people have said to me, the amount of dedication and the hard work I've put in to get this one win, it, it's true. Like I said, I had a lot of sleepless nights, I did a lot of paid for a lot of PTs, done a lot of travelling to get to those PTs, because it wasn't just PTs I was doing with my kickboxing coach, it was PTs I was doing with my boxing mate, so I could work on my boxing defence. I was going to the Bristol Dojo lessons, and not getting back to like 11 o'clock at night, and sometimes I had to be in work for 5, so 4 o'clock starts. So I sacrificed a lot, um, but to me, it, it, it's kind of gratitude getting this win, because I wanted to sh kind of show, I had a lot to prove for this fight. In many ways, in my, I wanted to prove to myself that I could do this. When I put my mind something, I can step in there and get the win. Um, in one of the most dangerous sports going, MMA. I wanted to prove my haters and doubters wrong. That said, I ain't an aggressive enough. I ain't good enough. Because, you know. And I'm not saying that was my main reason, motivation to do it. I obviously, my stepdad died of cancer. So it was nice to get in there and do it for him. Um, and myself, like I said. Just to kind of give myself that, like... Yeah, if I gave put my mind someone I can freaking do something. But it was nice to prove those haters wrong because even when I started this, a lot of people were saying, I'm not aggressive enough, I ain't got the heart or the determination to do it. You know, and I proved them wrong because I was the one who was aggressive in my cage fight. I know you can't, I can't back that up because I'm waiting for my mate to send me the footage, but I was the one who kept taking my opponent down. He only hit me once and that was right before I kicked him in the leg, faked him and took him down. Um... So yeah, you know, I proved my haters wrong because I was aggressive. I was swinging for him. I took him down three or four times before I tapped his ass out. Um, and like I said, this is why I didn't just concentrate on the jiu-jitsu. I didn't just concentrate on the kickboxing. I concentrated on all of it because my game plan worked to a T because I used all of it. I used the leg kick, faked the head. That's where the kickboxing side of it comes into it. Duck straight under, so I faked the head. Straight duck, duck, straight under. Double leg, drove into the cage, took his legs out, that's where the grappling comes into it. And then tapped his out, ass out, and that's where the jiu-jitsu comes from for it. The only thing I couldn't do, 
well, didn't get showcased much was my boxing defense because he, well, yeah, I did show it a little bit because he did swing for me a couple of times and I did just move back or kind of fake it out, you know, put it out of the way. And that's why I said I wanted to be an all round fighter, like the great legend GSP was. I don't want to be just good in one thing, I want to be good at all of it, and that's why I've dedicated so much time to get it done. Um, and I've, I loved every minute of it. It was very um, interesting. The build up to the fight is what actually was more nerve wracking because I just wanted to get in there, but as soon as I got in there, I felt comfortable, I felt calm, collected, knew what I was going to do. Didn't expect to win in a minute, but hey ho, there you go. And it just felt comfortable. So on to, which leads on to my second point. What I recommend anyone doing this. Yes, there are so many benefits to doing this. Even if you don't want to do MMA full time like I do, or you're not looking to make a career out of it, even just the one doing it once, it's just such an experience. You meet good people, like there's a few people I knew that were doing it anyway, but there's also one person I spoke to quite a bit. It, and you get to know those people, you get to have an laugh with those people, and the whole night is just electrifying. I didn't have many people cheer me on. I had my mate who did the jiu-jitsu and did the event and his mate cheer me on. And Giorgio who come. Um, but the whole night's just electrifying. It's just an electrifying feeling. I can't describe how like electrifying it is. And you, I think personally you wouldn't feel nervous. You might feel nervous but I didn't. About the whole thing from walking out to your own music. Because you get to choose your own music. To the actual being in there. To the after you know, that feeling of winning after, and even if you lose, you still can take pride in the fact that you took part in the cage fight, and it's for cancer research, which is another reason why I loved it, because it was for a good cause. Um, and hopefully it's inspired people, because that was another reason why I did it, it's to inspire people, to show people, don't listen to what people say, don't put yourself down, just put your mind to it and you can do it. But I would, overall I'd say yes, if you're going to give something a try, or the ultra boxing, if you don't want to get that, like, you know, uh, competitive because obviously ultra and me to boxing a little different um but just for the at atmosphere the feeling of being in that cage the pride you get from it win or lose um you'll just love it like the whole night is electric and even like leading up to it yes it is annoying cause you've got to wait and you've got to do your medical checks and you're not um you know it's a long wait i got there at two um and our event didn't start till seven and I think my fight was like at 8, I think I can end up getting them cage because I was the 11th fight. Because they normally do lightweights to heavyweights. Um, you know, it still flies by because you know, it's not like you're trapped in a room. You can go to school and you can go into the crowd with your mates if your fight's not on anytime soon. You can like watch the fights from the entrance bit. And then, like I said, when you actually get to the entrance, you get an hour and you're in and you hear your own music. And then you can take pride in if you win or lose. You know, it's an amazing experience for anyone to do. I re highly recommend it, even if it's just because not only is it just an amazing atmosphere and feeling, you also got the fitness side to it. You've got the techniques you'll learn. You'll make new friends. New friends, like I said, new f you'll get fit from it. Now, don't get me wrong, I wasn't the most fit. I didn't have abs when I walked in that cage. I wasn't ripped, but I was a hell of a lot thinner than I was when I started this journey. And you make good friends. You know, there's a few people I've made good friends with in there and just food and it's just a fun app thing to do as well like just for eight weeks just to put your mind to it and learn new techniques and you'll get a res actual you'll get a respect for mma as well then i think in my eyes if you do it because you'll realize how actually hard it is to do and learn this stuff so would i recommend anyone to do it yes and my final thoughts on it an electric night and i cannot wait to do the next one i've already signed up for it gonna enjoy myself now relax and um yeah but other than that, I'll see you later. This is the official end of the Road to Great Mystery. Because I won't be doing a series still. Because, yeah, there's just no point. See ya, Charles.